Every year there's one job that comes up that I cannot stand to do. Hanging Christmas lights. And for years I've been trying to think of a better way to do this. Now when I first bought this house several years ago, we put Christmas lights up and that was the last time we did it. And every year since then I've thought, man, I, I like how lights look on the house. I just do not have the patience to put a thousand of these on all my little lights and clip them to the shingles or gutters or wherever they go. So <clears throat> I finally have landed on a solution for this uh, and I'm going to show you that in this video. Uh, I, I'm hoping it's going to be a better way to hang Christmas lights. It's a little bit tedious for me to set up and it's why I've been putting off doing it for several years. Uh, but I finally decided this year when my wife said we're putting up Christmas lights this year, I was like, all right, I'm going to uh, figure this out and try this new system. So I'm going to show you how I'm doing it and uh, just walk you through the process and you can let me know in the comments what you think. I started out with a three quarter inch irrigation pipe. This is thin walled pipe rather than schedule 40 which has much thicker walls. I ripped one side of each pipe to create a groove and that also makes the pipe a sort of clamp to ultimately hold the lights in place. You'll see where I'm going with this. Next up was to drill a series of holes in the center of the slit I just made and using a 1x4 I had laying around, I cut a V-groove in the bottom of it so the pipe could rest on a stable platform for drilling. After doing this with a couple of pipes, my fingers were screaming at me from holding tightly to keep the pipe in place and to keep that joint closed while I drilled, so I decided I needed to rig up a jig attached to the 1x4 that would hold the pipe in place for me. I did this with a scrap piece of plywood.
All right, so after a good bit of trial and error, I landed on these clips that will hold the pipes in. And originally I had planned on putting them on the outside of the fascia like this, screwing a screw in there and holding the pipe that has the lights in it, which you've already seen. Um, and as I got started, I had run around one corner of my shop and all of a sudden I saw a downspout coming down from the gutters and there was no way to go around it. So I decided to move it up underneath the soffit this way. And uh, it turns out that actually works pretty well because once the lights are in, I'll be able to swivel them after the season's over and possibly leave them up in the soffit uh, for the whole year. Uh, I'll just be able to swivel the light bulbs up out of the way and they won't be very visible. So we'll try that. And uh, well, anyway, I'll show you how this works. <laughs> 